Hello everybody and welcome on into a brand new episode of Taste Test right here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean and every Wednesday and Saturday I try the weird, the wonderful, and the limited edition for your viewing pleasure. For more, subscribe and ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. Suggestions? Leave them down in the comments section below. What it is, where to find it, you might see it on a future episode of Taste Test. Today we have an actual limited edition, a real true limited edition. It is it is the new Doritos, or they are the new Doritos, mini, uh, Doritos Minis. Jumpin' Jack Cheese. I don't know that I've had any of these minis before, but uh, it's kind of an interesting concept. It's basically a Pringles can, but hey, Doritos instead. So we're going to give these a try and see how they are. This was uh, found at Fred Meyer. I don't remember how much they were. They were on special for buy one, get one free. And I, that was what stuck out to me. And then I forgot that it was buy one, get one free because I went to the alcohol section. And then uh, I remembered when I got home. So that was that was a little embarrassing. Um, but here they are. Okay. That's, there you go. Look at that. Hey, what do you know? It's a tube of Pringles. It smells okay. Yeah. It's a little, little baby triangle. Um, hmm. Hmm. They're okay. The flavor seems inconsistent. Maybe we need to eat more of them. If you're eating more of them, why aren't you just eating a regular sized Dorito? This is a mess. Hmm. I don't think these are very good. They are inconsistent in their flavor. The flavor's not terrible when you get it, but the inconsistency does make you kind of go like, why am I not just eating a different kind of Dorito? And there's something about the texture that just seems a little off, like almost like they're a little, they're like a little stale or something. It's just not quite, not quite right. Like they, they have to adjust how they make them to accom to like accommodate the size and it's just not quite right. Um, and they haven't figured that out with the flavoring either. These, these Kind of suck, honestly, the more I think about it. They, I mean, obviously they got me because it's limited edition, but I don't think that these are really worth trying. I mean, if you really want to, I guess the good side, the positive side of it would be, hey, they're probably pretty cheap. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but they couldn't have been more than $4 maybe at Fred Meyer. You probably would be able to find them cheaper at other stores and maybe down to like two or something like that. And I think that's where it kind of hits in that sweet spot of, Hey, if you like Doritos, if you like jumping or like Cheddar Jack cheese as a flavor, then it's worth a shot. But if you double that price to $4, I think that's a tougher sell. And I don't think it's really worth it. Even in the in-between at, you know, $3, still kind of a, kind of a tricky sell. The texture is just off and the flavor isn't consistent and it makes it just a, just a poor item. So there you go. I'd, uh, I'd save my money on these unless you can find them for two dollars and fifty cents or less so there you have it what did you think of the doritos jumpin jack cheese have you tried them will you try them let me know down there if you have suggestions you can also tell me what it is where to find it down in that comment section below and as you're scrolling back up subscribe ring the bell you'll be notified when i post new videos you can subscribe also right over here where the doritos are and you can watch the most recent episode of taste test right there thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and as always bon appetit